So the third mechanism of transitioning is called the bypass transition. So bypass transition is when you have big disturbances, disturbances on the order of 1% or more. So effectively, <coughs> the, uh, at the right condition, the boundary layer is going to transition without seeing this growth of small disturbances. And basically, bypass transition is when you have so much disturbance in the flow field in the free stream that whatever model you use for predicting natural transition doesn't work. Okay, so so the the transition basically bypasses this portion of the flow and uh, this portion of the flow and directly goes into this portion. It's as if the boundary layer started with a lot of disturbances. This usually happens, for example, this happens in turbo machinery actually a lot. I mean, on airplanes, it this rarely happens if you are flying in a clean atmosphere. But in turbo machinery, almost every stage operates at downstream of some other stages that creates a lot of wake and turbulence, right? So this, in most turbulent, uh, in most uh, turbo machinery applications, the transition mechanism you have is almost bypass-like. Okay, and uh, uh, bypass transition actually have uh, also have a. Uh, some video to show so so this is a the mechanism is a little bit different it's there is a stochastic component in it because the disturbance you have is usually stochastic so usually you have a turbulent spot over here right and this moves downstream and grows but it seems everything is moving downstream but then something else appears for example this thing appears and then it's going to grow into a turbulent spot and it goes downstream and uh, uh, there is going to be a new spot appears from some upstream locations. Also, whenever you have a, unless very carefully, very good, very quiet wind tunnel, most of the experiments you're going to be doing uh, can have bypass transitions. Right, so if you go downstairs and uh, use a one by one wind tunnel, the flow is not very clean, and most of the time you get bypass transitions. It's actually pretty interesting if you uh, if you have a flat plate and you stick a uh, stick something into the flow to listen to the to the noise. You you can actually distinguish if you move the probe to somewhere near the transition region you can actually detect these uh, bursts of sound like these kind of spots. You're going to hear kind of the intermediate uh, burst of this boundary layer near the transition. So this is, a, this is the three mechanisms of transition.